Let's do a quick exercise to show the advantage of using constructor notation over literal notation. So what we're going to do is create a function in both types of objects that calculate the available seats left at each restaurant and display the results on the screen. So let's start first with our literal notation objects. So we're just going to create a new function and it will return this.seats minus this.booked. And let's just return this value real quick just to show it on the page. We'll do OSHA.AvailableSeating. Save it. And there we see 30. We'll come back here. And what we can do is just copy and paste the same exact function for each of these and they'll work in every single one of these literal objects which is pretty convenient now there's a slight difference when we do it for constructor notation we can paste it but we have to say this dot and we're also going to change that to equal so that colon becomes an equals and that's all you have to do so all you have to do for the constructor notation is make those two changes and you don't have to change anything you don't have to change any objects or anything else like that so let's go ahead remove this copy that one we'll put it down here let's do soror down here we'll save it go back to chrome refresh and there we see it changed the 15 using constructor notation so it's much easier to use constructor notation when you're going to be doing a function that's using uh, existing properties. So for the most part when you're building a big project you definitely want to use constructor notation. For small projects you can definitely get away with using literal notation uh, but just get ready for when it starts to get really big you definitely want to start using constructor notation.